Hello everybody, this is Randy Case, President of AFC Vacations, and welcome to our world of travel. This segment covers the new tours for 2018, and we're very proud of our catalog, which is 56 pages, and it has 92 incredible vacations and cruises for you in the year 2007. We're especially excited about our 35th anniversary, and we started in San Diego, and that's where we are today. Let us put our 35 years of experience. AFC, by the way, means affordable first class, and that's the kind of programs that we run. We're committed to lifelong learning, so every one of our tours and cruises has a learning component, an educational feature, and a lot of it is experiential. So if you want to just look out the window and drive in a coach, you probably don't want to take our tours because we're going to get off and get you into cooking schools, walking tours of the national parks, special lectures by uh, noted uh, famous people of the area. It's really a great way to travel. With AFC, you're not a spectator, you're a participant. What I wanted to talk to you about is our Pacific Coastal Cruise. This goes out in April, it's six days in length, and it's going on the beautiful Eurodom, Holland America ship. And we have 122 already signed up on the cruise and land tour, and we have room for about 22 more. Myself and Chris McCool will be escorting this, along with a third tour manager we've just added, Chuck Denny. Eurodam, it's about 2,000 passengers. They have uh, six to seven different restaurants to choose from, beautiful accommodations with balconies, and uh, just lots of things to see and do. We'll be cruising from San Diego for four nights up to Vancouver. And we have lots of special things, entertainment, cooking demonstrations, scavenger hunts, you name it, we've planned it because we're celebrating our 35th year in business. You'll love Holland America because of the wonderful staff. The Indonesian and the Filipino staff are very attentive and enjoyable to be. What's a call on this cruise? We'll be stopping in at Victoria and the city tour is included there. There's also a bus going out to Bouchard Gardens, the beautiful flowering gardens there. If you'd like to see those, those are included. As well as a sightseeing tour of Vancouver, the third largest city in all of Canada and in a beautiful setting there. From Vancouver through the coast of Washington by Puget Sound, also going by uh, Whidbey Island, and uh, which is part of the Puget Sound area. And we'll stay one night at this beautiful hotel overlooking the bay and we've got lots of sightseeing as I mentioned we'll fly home from Seattle and if you look at this fantastic pricing in that all your gratuities on board the ship for all drivers tour managers and so on are included as well as travel insurance so look at that price point from $14.99 that's why 122 people have already signed up the next program I'd like to discuss is our North Carolina Outer Banks now AFC has never gone to North Carolina and certainly not to the Outer Banks. You can see there's a lot of interesting history here, the wild horses. This is where Kitty Hawk's located, the Wright Brothers Flyer and the first uh, auto plane that flew. And we're stopping in North Fork, beautiful. Lots of things to see and do. We'll fly into uh, Raleigh and spend the night there. And then you can see we have five nights on the Outer Banks. Most tour companies just do two to three nights on the Outer Banks. Deb Howard will be our tour manager, and we're going in the off-season, which is May and September. On this particular program, you're going to stay at many oceanfront resorts where you'll have a balcony facing the beach in the ocean. You'll ride the ferry system between the different barrier islands. You'll go she uh, looking for seashells and seashells. The wild horses are on many of the islands, but we go to a town called Corolla, and we get into these little Humvee vehicles, specially outfitted to ride through the surf and up into the brush looking for the And Orville and Wilbur Wright uh, flew over at Kitty Hawk uh, in their plane called the Flyer. And you'll be able to see that exact spot where they did it. You'll also visit an area called the Lost Colony, which was made famous by Sir Walter Raleigh, who introduced tobacco to the New World. And that's a picture of him in the bottom left and the ship he came over with. This particular lost colony predates both Plymouth and Jamestown. However, it only lasted for about six years and then it was abandoned. This is a tour that I'll be escorting. Actually, Chris is doing it in May and I'll be doing it 
in the fall. It's Philadelphia and Long Island, and you'll be going uh, to just two hotels on this trip. And you're going to see the wonderful town, historic area of Philadelphia, and then out onto the main part of Long Island. You see by the map, we start with Philly three nights with a nice day trip to Cape May, and then on up into Brooklyn and Long Island, spending three nights there to see the Gold Coast mansions and all the beautiful Hamptons. I recommend this trip. Philadelphia is a city of brotherly love, and it's located between two rivers, the Schuylkill River and the Delaware River. It's also the home of Ben Franklin, and uh, he was born in Boston, but actually spent most of his time in Philadelphia. We'll go to the National Constitution Museum, the only museum in the U.S. dedicated to our Constitution. We'll see the Betsy Ross House, where she made the flag, the Liberty Bell, and the beautiful paintings at the Barnes Foundation, which has a new home in downtown Philadelphia. Then we'll go out to Long Island. We'll stop in Brooklyn for a tour and a tasting of pizza, and then on to the more rural part of Long Island. The town of Huntington will stay at the beautiful Hilton Hotel and we'll visit the Gold Coast, some of the incredible mansions of Vanderbilt and Guggenheim and Rockefeller. Uh, we'll also, some of these are bed and breakfasts and homes now uh, or hotels, but they're certainly as big as many of the French chateaus in the Loire Valley of France. We'll also visit the very nice uh, intimate cabin uh, home, Sagamore Hill, which was Teddy Roosevelt. And again, on this tour, you'll go to the Hamptons, to Sag Harbor. Uh, we'll learn so much about this beautiful coastal area that's filled with so many affluent, very rich people. Cape Cod, Boston, and Maine, another great combination where you'll only unpack three times. And you'll see lots of America's history, as well as the beautiful sightseeing areas of Cape Cod, Martha's Vineyard, and up on The map shows it all, as Deb Howard will be your tour manager. Three nights on Cape Cod, two nights in Boston, two nights in Booth Bay Harbor. Well, it really does. When we're out on Cape Cod in Hyannis, we'll learn about Jackie and Jack Kennedy. Uh, when he was senator and later president, he would spend time there. On the lower left, we'll be staying at the beautiful Red Jacket Beach Hotel, which overlooks the coast right there in Yarmouth. And we'll be learning all about Boston Beans, the Boston Red Sox, and the Freedom Trail, of which you'll learn about Paul Revere and the Old State House. On to Maine, you'll see lots of uh, beautiful lobster traps, be brightly colored colonial buildings, lighthouses, and of course we include a lobster meal there. And then when we get up into Maine, we'll be spending two nights at Booth Bay Harbor. And that's a picture of our hotel in the upper right with the red roof. And the patio there is your patio. Each one of you will be look, overlooking the beautiful port there. And you'll have a lobster roll to enjoy as well. This next tour has it all. It really is a great cross-section of America. It's the Music Cities and the Smoky Mountains. It's a fall tour for fall foliage, but you'll learn about New Orleans, Memphis, and Nashville, where so many great musicians come from. You can see by the tour, there's only the four hotels two nights in New Orleans, two nights in Memphis, one night in Nashville, and two nights right in Smoky Mountain National Park there in Gatlinburg. If you love music, you're going to love this tour. Did I mention cooking? Lots of great cooking there at the New Orleans School of Cooking, where you can put on a uh, apron and go up there and make pralines and jambalaya and uh, gumbo and so, so on. You'll learn about the great jazz people like Louis Armstrong, Al Hurt, and Pete Fountain and you'll be right there on Bourbon Street. We go on to the home of Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll, and that's the town of Memphis. Up on the upper left is the home Graceland, of which Elvis lived many years, and that's the pink 1955 Cadillac he gave to his mother. Over to the right, you'll see five ducks. This is the very famous Peabody Hotel, and the ducks that come down through the elevator and on a red carpet, believe it or not, and live in the lobby during the day in the fountain. We'll see that procession. Beale Street is the home of the blues. And then also you'll learn about Memphis Barbecue, because we'll take that in at the very famous Rendezvous Hotel. Then on to Nashville, we'll be staying at the beautiful Gaylord Marriott Hotel, and it has one acre under glass. So the weather is always wonderful in this hotel, and most of the rooms look right out onto this atrium. And we'll visit the Mother Church of Country Western Music, the Rhineman Auditorium, 
We'll also go to Studio B at uh, the RCA Studio Recordings, where Elvis made so many of his big hits. And then the um, uh, Country Music Hall of Fame is located. And our last stop will be two nights in the beautiful Smoky Mountains. All the fall foliage will be at its prime. And we'll go on the Great Smoky Mountains Railroad. That's our hotel there right on uh, the grounds of the uh, near the National Park. So join us on this tour. Texas Heroes and Presidents. I love this trip and had so much fun setting it up. And we're going to learn about four U.S. presidents, three of the libraries we'll visit. Also, unfortunately, JFK was assassinated in Dallas, and we'll go to that spot. And we'll learn about uh, Teddy Roosevelt and also Crockett. A Texas native uh, and local, that's uh, Chuck Denny, will be your tour manager. He lives now in Dallas. And you'll enjoy two nights in San, uh, San Antonio, one night College Station, and three nights in Dallas. Look at this itinerary. San Antonio has a wonderful mile and a half long river walk, and we have electric boats that we charter to go up and down and cruise around and learn all the history. The Alamo is located there, which is actually one of five missions located in San Antonio. And this is where the famous standoff between Santa Ana and the Mexican Army and Davy Crockett and uh, Jim Bowie and many others. They are the heroes there. Also, you'll see the Menger Hotel, and there's a bar there that Teddy Roosevelt, before he was president, he recruited his Rough Riders to go down and fight in uh, Cuba. And this is where he San Antonio. On to Austin, Texas, the capital of the state of Texas. And this is where the LBJ, Lyndon Baines Johnson Library is. And we'll also go to College Station and we'll visit on the campus of Texas A&M, George Walker Bush, George Sr. His library, presidential library is there. In fact, we'll visit three great college institutions in Texas, University of Texas, Baylor, which is located in Waco, Texas, and Texas A. We finish our tour in Dallas, and we'll learn about uh, George Bush, uh, George uh, Walker W. Bush, and he has his library there on the campus of Southern Methodist University. We'll go to the flagship store of Neiman Marcus and go and have a tour there and lunch on the sixth floor. And we'll also go to South Fork Ranch. You'll know it from the 1980s TV series, which was Dallas. And there is Dealey Plaza and the uh, Book Depository. That's where John F. Kennedy was assassinated in the early 1960s. And we'll go through that uh, area for sure. So this is a tour I think you'll really enjoy. And it's Nova Scotia is back on our schedule. We're going there in August for the famous Tattoo, which is located right there in uh, Halifax. Some of our international tours that are quite unique are the combination of Sicily, Italy, and Malta. This is in the um, Mediterranean Sea, and these were the crossroads of so many ancient civilizations. In fact, the history here goes back 4,000 years. We're going in early spring, which is a great time to go. Twice on this tour, with four nights in Termina, which is in Sicily, and then you're flying over to the two islands of Malta, and you'll be spending four nights in Valletta, the main big city there, and doing day trips all over. What I love about Teormina is how beautiful it is. It's etched into the side of a mountain. We have a beautiful hotel there, and everybody has an incredible view looking out over the Mediterranean. The volcano in the background is Mount Etna, which is quite beautiful. see some of the lava flows there when we do our tour. We'll go to a winery and have a wonderful lunch. And then we'll learn about the two movies, The Godfather, one and two, Francis Ford Coppola's great movie. Uh, both of them won an Academy Awards. And we'll see the actual villa um, that they shot that in. We'll move on to the ancient town of Valletta, which is an old fortress. It's got so much history. We'll spend many days touring there and then doing day trips out into the countryside. Learning about the locals, you'll visit the ancient capital of Medina. You'll learn about their great food, which is a combination of Italian and Arabic food. They have festivals we'll see and costumed uh, we'll see. We'll learn about the special knitting that they do. We'll have the famous pizza. We'll have a cooking school. We'll learn about cheese and olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and all of that. This is a real experiential tour. You'll be involved in meeting the locals, and it'll be a small tour, uh, less than 20 people. So we have England, Scotland, Wales, and the tattoo. 
And this is going in August, so we can see the military tattoo in Edinburgh. You want to see doing a wonderful circuit for uh, 12 days out of London. So you'll go up one side of the England and down the other, and you'll visit England, Wales, and Scotland. What a great Danny will be your tour manager, and you'll see a Irish jig performance. You'll go to Bath, which are the Roman gardens, and the Baths, the Stonehenge, uh, Windsor Castle, one of the home district, beautiful area of castles, and the half-timbered Tudor-style architecture of all the little towns. Puff and Billy train. You'll see the outdoor performance at the Edinburgh Castle of the world-famous military tattoo, which is just it should be on your bucket list of something to do in your. And then we'll go to many other places along on our visit. And a lot of these old traditions die hard in England, and we'll see many of them, like the fox hunt. And then we end our area a tour by going to the Shakespeare area of the Cotswolds, Stratford-upon-Avon, and we have a tour of London all included. So please book that with us. Uh, we have, we're about half full right now. I'd love to see you. Here's a tour that I really enjoyed setting up with my wife Arlene when we went over to Italy. We went up to Tuscany and Umbria, and this concentrates on the small hill communities and we stay at very small farmhouse type uh, buildings that have uh, under uh, 60 rooms. And it's a really unique experience of seeing taking on the beautiful uh, countryside as well as the food and sampling all of this. And so four nights in Siena and three nights in Cortona. And we're going to, again, all the areas of Tuscany and Umbria, the hill country. A great time to go. The weather is fantastic. We'll be going to the hill towns of Pienza, San Gimignano, Montepulciano, all of these great names. Going to wineries where they make Chiani, going to farms where we have lunch out in the olive or orchards. Uh, this is really and very, very unique. This is the hotel we stay uh, in Siena. It's right outside of town. It looks more like a villa of a very rich person. And this is where we're going to Again, great food. On this tour, we do a day trip up to Florence with uh, the Statue of David, the Academia, and so on. Lots of day trips. So think of this as a hub and spoke tour, where you spend four nights at one hotel, and you're going no more than an hour, hour and a half from the hotel doing sightseeing. In, in the town of Cortona, we stay at a very small converted farmhouse with just 23 rooms. You can see a picture over there on the lower left. And the rooms are wonderful. So this is unique tour and then we have Iceland and this is the country of fire and ice it's a country of contradictions how can you have a glacier right next to molten lava at 2,000 degrees that's what the fire and ice is about it's an area that's over a hot spot so it has active volcanoes going off throughout the day up in the upper left is the beautiful Blue Lagoon, and we'll pay your admission. They have a wonderful locker room area, changing room, showers, and you'll go out in the water there and enjoy it. You go in at uh, 72 years of age, and you come out at 56. So that's worth the price of admission right there. You see incredible waterfalls, icebergs on cruises, the famous Icelandic horses. You'll go to a horse farm. You'll also go to a geothermal plant where they make all the hot uh, energy that they use. Uh, we'll go on a truck tour out onto a golden circle where you'll see incredible waterfalls, geysers, and molten uh, volcanic rock and lava. We stay at wonderful hotels and at the end there is an extension for two nights over to Greenland. It's about an hour and a half flight over to the east side of Greenland and we'll spend two nights there and see icebergs and learn how the Greenlanders live. Hope you've enjoyed the 10 new tours we have. Please visit our website uh, for more information on each of these trips. And thank you so much for your time.